I want to congratulate Alabama. Uh, they've got a really good football team, physical football team. Um, um, Milrow threw the ball really well, um, and their defense is really good. We knew going into the game that they were really good. And uh, coming in this venue, we knew it would be a, a tough task for us, but we wanted to be in it in the fourth quarter uh, with an opportunity to win, and that's what we were. And uh, uh, congratulations to Alabama. I'm really proud of our football team, and uh, I hate it that we couldn't come away with the win, but I'm proud of our effort. I'm proud of our coaches. Um, I'm proud of the players. Uh, obviously, we, that's two times in a row we've come here and lost by seven, and then today by three. Um, but we need to win, and uh, certainly looking forward to getting back home. Um, so down 24 to six, maybe – People could be thinking, okay, another Alabama game. But what did you do after 24-6 to get back into it? We were just trying to, be honest with you, we were trying to just keep it close to the fourth quarter. We, we, you know, we've lost some games this year in the fourth quarter, and and we we made a big emphasis, and and the defense made some adjustments. Obviously, on two of their touchdowns, we just we we had some miscommunication. We turned them loose. Um, offensively, I think. Um, we decided to run the ball a little bit on third down. Uh, other teams had had some success against them. Um, I, even though I, um, we didn't play the entire game offensively uh, well, I thought in the second half we showed some sparks that uh, we can score. That's good defense out there we were playing against. But really, the coaches made adjustments. Um, uh, KJ. Uh, made some plays, um, but uh, the coach had made some halftime adjustments and, you know, held them to 140 some yards, second half, three points. Uh, really good job at T. Will and the kids and the coaches. And uh, our offense caught a little spark. You know, they helped us with some penalties there on the on the first touch or on the second touchdown drive, first one in the second half. Um, but uh, we just couldn't close it out. You know, we got the ball on the six-yard line, needing a field goal to tie. And um, unfortunately, we it was wide open. And the Binion, you know, just couldn't keep his cleats on the one. And I believe we would have got down there a little bit, at least to get a field goal. We just couldn't do it. Landon, I think that four sacks. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, you know, it just tells you about, you know, you think, oh, my Lord, this guy's out, this guy's out, this guy. You know, if you have guys that, are, you know, we, we obviously have better depth now than what we've had in the past. And, I mean, it showed. And, uh, but you have guys that want to play, capable of playing and things of that nature. It shows you can do a lot if you don't make a lot of mistakes, and we we were fairly clean today. Uh, Landon, I just went and saw him right before I came in here. Um, what a game! And uh, he continues to get better each week. Uh, but just what a game! And uh, Milrose a hard guy to get on the ground, but we were collapsing the pocket pretty well, I thought, and. Uh, not allowing him to take off. He didn't take off and run on us too much today. And, and, uh, but I thought Landon played his heart out. A lot of kids did. He just got some really good results with three and a half, four sacks. Rocket, uh, went to get some, uh, more rehab. Obviously, uh, he didn't feel like his knee was 100%. Uh, so I have no idea when, uh, he'll be back. Coach KJ's ability to extend plays. Second half, there was a, it looked like he was going to be sacked. Yeah. Like, a like the BYU game yeah, last year. Yeah, I think, you know, again, he finally had success, big success on a run, you know, and that kind of motivate, I don't, for whatever, it gets you motivated, gets him motivated. And then he was, you know, he was dead to rights on that one and then came out of it, made a big play, uh, went down and scored off of it later on. Um, but 
it was just two teams fighting their butt off out there today and and uh and they just made you know they made one more you know they made one more play than we did but um I thought we saw some sparks even though we didn't have that many I think we had 250 yards of offense but that may be a decent day against that defense it's obviously not what we want but we did see some sparks in the second half that that give you hope for the rest of the season well, it's going to be great to get home. Uh, what I understand, we're standing room only or max capacity, whatever the the, the term we're using. Uh, we need to see our fans. Uh, we appreciate them staying with us. They're staying with us because they're packing the stadium when we get back in there. Uh, obviously, we need a win. Uh, we need to get back home. Um, but um, I, I I felt like if we just keep getting better each week, try to get better, that we can make a run at the end of the season. We'll, we'll wait and see, but it'll be great to get back in front of our fans. So many one-possession losses. What does it take to just get over that? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I really don't know, obviously. Um, you got to make a play, you know, at some point. Got to, uh, you know, one possession losses, a lot of time get skewed and you've got a stat and all that kind of stuff. But when you're a three point, three touchdown underdog and you get beat by three and that goes in the same category as you're a three point favorite and you lose by three. It's not the same thing. Uh, it's still loss, but, um, you know, we got to be by three at LSU. Like we, we, to answer that, we needed to stop, you know, we tied it up, got three, got beat by three today. We had the ball with the opportunity to tie it up. Um, I bet it was 94 yards away, but you've got to have those drives and uh, we've got to finish somehow. And uh, we're just, we're just not doing it. Thinking back to that, do you get a sense from players and coaches that they're able to maybe have that kind of context when coming out of this game where, like you said, the three touchdown underdog and keep it to the three point game? I think they're just like you and me and everybody else. We're disappointed that we lost. I think that's first and foremost because uh, I want to make that very clear that we, we're not happy with, by getting beat by Alabama. You aren't. I'm not. You're not. Nobody is. Our players aren't. But you have to, to continue to fight and continue to get better. And if we'll do that, surely there's going to be some team that's not ranked in the top 15 in the country that's going to play us, you know, at some point at our place. And uh, we just got to continue to fight and all those things. We got a hard road to get bowl eligible, but that is our goal. And we've got to, we've, we've got to start it Saturday. Coach, there seemed like maybe there's well, we put it in today, put it in the Ole Miss to certain plays that we could go fast. Um, I felt like it helped us. I had to go back and look at the film to see what the, actually happened with it, but I felt like it helped us. It's just something to try to get us going, you know what I mean? Just trying to uh, steal a little screen, some things of that nature we try to do up-tempo and things of that nature. But we're going to continue to do that and try to get, catch them on their heels a little bit and things of that nature. And and I think it's working for us. I'll have to look at the film and to make sure on that. Coach, just paying you a couple catches today. Nice Wasn't that nice? You know, uh, it was good to see him. That's a hard. I, that's a tough catch for the touchdown on on the on the slant. Um, really good ball. Um, but yeah, you know we need each everybody we can get to come in to make plays for us. And I was really happy for him. You know, he's always he's done a nice job with the kickoffs and the and the punt returns and all those things. But 
we need to continue to use him at slot and uh they're really happy for him he got a couple balls in the touchdown today you know what happened on the go yeah, incredible. What number did you need to get to late in the game? Were you comfortable with putting up there? <laughs> well, going that direction, it was 34. So that had been 52 yarder or 8D. Um, the 34 going the other way was a 37. So at that particular time, it was a 34. And we probably, in all honesty, if it got down to it, I probably would have tried it from 40. You mentioned there was coverage plus in the first half. You don't know what happened on coverage. I do, you know, but I don't I don't I don't really want to call the kids out on it. But yeah, we had we had a, had two different had a safety in a corner, you know, on both on two separate issues. Well, I think I think the good Lord puts us in a lot of situations, you know, I do. And to learn and, and different things and going into this stretch, you know, starting with BYU, I, I'm I wouldn't have dreamt dreamt nor nobody else that we'd be sitting here two and five. Didn't want to be, didn't, you know, all those type things. But they're all learning experiences from it and um, you know. Hopefully we'll be a better team when we get back home and get out of it. I'm I'm glad we're and you know, we still got to go to Florida, but four of the five are at home, and uh, you know I just hope that we learn from it as coaches. I hope it's made us stronger. I hope it's made us a better team. Now it's yet to be determined until we get out there and play Mississippi State. But um, I think there's a lot of things to learn from it. How how you address your team how the team responds to you there's a lot of things because uh, you know you were five in a row is a lot in a row you know and so you your main concern is how do you motivate the team and how do you get them better and are you going to lose them and things of that nature and I think we all can agree we haven't done that but we've got to figure out a way to win how important was the two field goal drives that, you know and have a six to nothing. Lead. Six to nothing. Six to nothing was big. It was. Um, you know, anytime you can get a lead, you know, on the road. Um, you know, and we about were getting the ball back with six to nothing, and they had the long one down the middle. Um, but um I think it's big, you know, where they don't the crowd doesn't get into it, and you know, um, and then it's it's more of a belief. Hey, we belong here. We we're up six to nothing. We're up three. We're up six. Obviously, I wish you could turn them into uh, a touchdown, but uh, we weren't able to do it. But yet, it's, at the same time, we're still up six to nothing, and the crowd wasn't quite as loud. You know, our kids' belief was a little stronger. Uh, things that are very important. Next, under Brady, Fletch, yeah, he was incredible. You know, on the fourth and yeah, – I'm not going to talk about it but because I, I might want to do it again. But he rugbyed well and he kicked well and and uh, he was outstanding. I, I told him on the sideline coming off, I said, you're the reason we're in this game. You're the reason this happened. You're the re – I mean, it is. I mean, he flipped the field and – uh Man, he wasn't any good. He was. Our specialists are kicking and punting as good as anybody in the country. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, guys.